Are you interested in knowing how you can use the power of ChatGPT in your SMS campaign? Then this video is for you. You need to stay to the end. I have amazing stuff to show you. So how can you do it? SMS campaign is quite important in your campaign today. Believe me, with 90% open rate, you need it. So we are going to look at two platforms. You're going to look at this one lazosia.com and you're going to look at bold sms so we are going to create a message using chat gpt the first thing that we're going to do is we come here to uh, the template one of the things i always recommend is do not use the same message over and over so we are going to create a message that has rotation or uh, it is pinning the text so that no singular person is receiving the same message over and over. For instance, if you're running a campaign, say for instance, you are in um, your trading crypto. The first message should not be about get 10% of these. You need to do this. Do not do that in your first message. So what do you do? you want to ask a question for instance you have something like greetings hi you'll be interested in trading crypto as simple as that stay to the end i'm going to show you how you're going to respond to this question and so that you can go ahead and promote your link we are going to tell chat gpt to create 10 variations of this sentence is each sentence to be separated with a pipe sign. So you create that. And chat GPT is going to give you the magic. All right. It hasn't. What do you do? You tell it separate each sentence with a pipe, like using the sign itself. There you go. We have these sentences following each other. Remember what you're doing here. You're sending signals to the SMS system that you're sending different messages. The first sentence is, could you be, could you consider exploring crypto trading? The other one is, interested in venturing in the world of crypto trading? The message is the same, but the wording is different. So what do you do? You copy this, you come to your platform, I'm going to leave the link in the description. And then you create a template, give it a name. And then you drop your message here. So, but then again, you need to have if you don't have the, the name of this person, you're going to have only the, the greetings. So for the greetings, you can use something like, hey, then you have hello, then you have a of greetings. I mean, that kind. Right, and then you want to open the bracket there. Same case to this one. Same case to that one. And then you close. Hey, hello. So what happens is the system is going to, one person receive hello, and the system is going to pick probably sentence um, five or seven here. And that person picks greetings, I mean, the last one is greetings and picks uh, sentence 10. All right. And then in case you have a name, you can use the short codes, contact name, in case you want to generate the date or the time or anything or that kind or even the unsubscribe link, you can do that with this system. And then you hit submit. It's going to save that. The same case applies to bold sms 
if you come to templates here add template give it a name you want to copy the same here put that that don't forget as well to put the greetings on and on and on so the system is going to select for you one of these and then you want to save this now the biggest mistake people make is sending a promotional message in the first SMS. You don't want to do that. So this message has received the recipient. So what next? Create an autoresponder. Create an autoresponder. If a person receives such a message, what is the most likely reply that they're going to give you? They're going to tell you, yes, or no or any other uh, response but majorly they will tell you no or yes or stop you're going to create an autoresponder so if a person says yes or sure or said what is the response this is now where you tell them, can you check out? Can you check out this for more? Then you have probably your link or you can now share with them any other message that you want to share. And then you want to respond if um, the message contains any of that. Don't use these others as in exact match because a person can say yes uh, tell me more so you want to tell the system if the message contains any of this send them send that uh, potential client this message can you check out this for more or something of our kind and then you need to definitely add that response the same applies to lazosia when you come here to actions and then you click on auto reply and then you're telling the system if it contains uh, the keywords contains the keyword for well, Lazosia you use a comma the trigger is uh, maybe yes sure I am in or any of that uh, reply Give it a name. Right. The question, the answer. What should be the re, uh, the reply when a person replies that way? You can tell them. Check out this. Check out our latest. System in regards to crypto or that will make crypto easier you want your conversation to be as natural as possible just like you can have a chat with a person and then you can save that so and then um, ensure that you do it you do this um, element correctly so that the auto responder is uh, triggered the source is sms also, the source can be triggered for WhatsApp. Uh, this system is quite robust when it comes to uh, doing SMS and WhatsApp. So, and I highly recommend it. So, it can be WhatsApp or it can be it can be SMS. So, that is how you can use the power of ChatGPT to send your SMSs. I believe this video has been insightful for you. Please share, subscribe and always reach out in case you need any help. We are always online. You can WhatsApp us, as, uh, SMS us, 
you can uh, email us. And thank you so much for the support. See you in the next one. And it's goodbye for now.